Hello everyone and welcome to Kadi's channel. So sa video na to pag-uusapan natin ang basics ng zero. So isang feature ng zero ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon and kung interested ka, please keep on watching. Until the end, do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks na i-share ko throughout the video. So without further ado, let's get started! <music> Bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So kahit anong work, pinapasok ko, basta online, kasi online work is amazing! Sa channel na to, dinidiscuss natin more on online work, tips and tricks, and mga success stories. So kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, Please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang ma-miss na video na ina-upload ni Kaji every single week. Okay, so this is just a walkthrough of the uh, settings of Zero. Okay, so kapag nag-login kayo sa Zero accounts nyo, ito yung view na makikita nyo which is nasa dashboard kayo. So if you want to check the settings of your Zero account, all you have to do is to click this uh, drop down. Na to, and then, pwede ka mag-change organization or you can go to settings, okay? To check the settings, click mo yung settings and meron tayo dito makikita na organization settings. So, so organization settings, again, meron tayong general and meron tayong features. Under the general, dito natin makikita yung organization details, yung users, yung currencies, and yung mga connected apps. Pag sinabi natin organization details, ito yung... Uh, place where you can uh, add yung mga information about the business such as address, logo, and basic financial information. So, let's check this one. Okay? So, dito, makikita nyo organization details and yung mga basic information is na dito. So, yung display name is yung makikita mo dito sa taas. Okay? So, kung ano yung ilalagay mo dito, yun yung makikita mo dun sa company na yun. Okay, and then yung legal and trading name, syempre ito yung pinaka-name na mismo ng company. Okay, and then you can add logo here. Just click the upload logo, and then you can browse, and then you select yung tama logo, and then upload it. Okay, and then uh, dito rin naman, what is the line of your business? So actually, naset up na natin to, maseset up natin to during the creation of the account. But in case na uh, hindi mo siya nalagyan or you want to change it, all you have to do is to uh, type dito yung line of business ng client mo. Pwede siyang retail, pwede siyang education. Let's try to type education. And kung wala, you can always uh, search kung ano ba yung mga available na line of business nito. So for example, restaurant. Okay? And then makikita mo ito yan. Okay? And then, let's say, financial. Ayan, makikita mo rin yan. Okay? So, you just type yung keyword na gusto mo. Okay? And then, organization type. So, meron tayo dito yung limited company, not for profit, partnership, person, or sole trader. So, ito ay depende naman dun sa company na gagawan mo ng zero account. Pwede siyang limited company, pwede siyang individual, which is your person, or pwede namang sole trader siya. Or, partnership kapag merong partner, yung client mo doon sa business. Yung registration number, this is optional naman. You can add a registration number or you can leave it as blank. And then you can add organization description if you want to. So, maximum of 300 characters ang pwede mong ilagay dito. And then, sa baba ng basic information, meron tayong contact details. So, dito, ilalagay mo yung postal address. So, pwede kang mag-search, quick find, and then, let's say, uh, San Pedro or San Pedro, okay? But syempre, kapag sa ibang bansa to, then you have to select yung tamang address, okay? And then kung alin dito yung tama, you just click that, and then ma-update na siya, okay? And then, and then, yung physical address naman is, kung same siya ng postal address, then you can just click this one, and then wala ka ng information na dapat ilagay. And then yung attention is, Name siya ng person, it can be yung owner ng company or any representative ng company, okay? Na uh, pinagkakatiwalaan or any person na related sa company. And then, 
uh, you can add your telephone number, you can type the country code here, and then your number dito, you can add email address and website, okay? And then if you want to add a contact field like your mobile, your fax, your Skype, LinkedIn, Twitter, and other social media accounts, and then if you're happy with it, all you have to do is to save and then ma-update na po yung organization settings like in your uh, company, okay? And yun yung ating organization details dito sa zero. So sana marami kayo natutunan sa video na to. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know sa comment section and Kaji will try to create more videos for you. I'll see you again sa next video ko. Bye!